and toss the gauntlet before the feet of tyranny, and I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. I say segregation now, segregation tomorrow, and segregation forever. <laughs> Talk to me, Mayor, about um, obviously your, your role here tonight, what you want to get across to folks, and then we'll ask about uh, the lip sync video. What do you want to do here tonight? Oh, well, I'm interested in hearing um, ideas on how we can get information to our police, to our elected officials on uh, lightning, rod, I, um, lightning rod issues, um, wedge issues that are in our community, maybe local to our community, um, that our officials and, um, and police might not be aware of. What, what are some of those wedge issues that you want to bring up? Well, obviously this is one. I had, I had quite a lot of calls as soon as the word got out that our police department was uh, working with Maple Donuts. As you know, they've used some um, divisive messaging in their campaigns, um, in their advertising, and uh, um, we need to know if there's more stuff like that out there that we should be aware of so something like this doesn't happen again. And you said too that you kind of are a mayor of everyone to make everyone feel safe. How did that video, in your perspective, make things maybe not so safe or people feel safe? Because if people associate our police department with divisive issues, they are going to have less trust for our police department. There was already a long uh, gap, a uh, uh, historic gap um, in that trust, and I'm trying to bring it together. But if people don't trust the police, then they don't give information to the police. If they don't give information to the police, it's harder to solve crimes. It's harder to solve crimes. There's more criminals out there. It's more dangerous for our police and for our residents. So it's not, a, this isn't a simple political decision. This is very strategic about trying to bring our residents and our police closer together. Mayor, you, I have a question for you, and if you can just look at him when you answer. Um, what are some of the biggest issues that you see with Maple Donuts specifically? Oh, it's just that they've chosen issues that are extremely racially divisive uh, to put into their advertising. So um, I don't find that there's any place for that associated with the city of York or the city of York's police department. Can you give me some examples of what those things are? Well, um, for those of us that remember the O.J. Simpson trial, um, that was very divisive um, down racial lines. And he chose to uh, make a little cute uh, thing about that and put a billboard out. Um, when it comes to uh, we stand, we don't take a knee. That's a very divisive issue. People have very strong opinions on both sides. I don't want any of those opinions involved with our city police department. Do you think you misstepped on uh, saying no to this video? Uh, no, I do not. I think um, there was a communication that was misstepped about two weeks ago when I told my chief of staff that this would not happen. As far as Maple Donuts being involved, or Correct. the video at all? Correct. No, the Maple Donuts being involved. We would not shoot a video with Maple Donuts. Thoughts about the video being out there now on the website, uh, publicized by most of us here and uh, the private company Deep Focus who did it? Um, yeah, it's very unfortunate um, that our police department did not sign a contract to make sure that we own that video. That video should not be out there. I made a decision not to let the video out, but other people independently Instead of just letting us reshoot the video with a generic donut truck and have a cute little video that everybody could support, other people went out against my wishes and now we have this mess. Do you understand that you guys don't own the video because you didn't pay for it? I have no understanding. I has, have no involvement with the making of the video. Um, the other people that were involved in the making of the video claim that we have no rights to it. So I don't know how our city police department, um, some of them working on city time, could have been involved in a, a video without us having any ownership of it. But again, these decisions were made without me. Did you guys know ahead of time about that company being involved? Um, they said you didn't. Sue Adams with Big Blonde, the coordinator, said you guys did know ahead of time. Well, Sue Adams says a lot of things. That's all I need. Anyone else? What, what's the next step at this point? The next step is that we're going to have meetings like I had last night with Latinos Unidos and we are going to um, try to find out what these hot button, what these lightning rod issues are in our community. Um, some of us may know some national issues, but uh, you know, nobody else in the rest of the country probably knows, or unless they watch Fox 43 or read the Boston Globe article um, about the divisive nature of the marketing campaigns of Maple Donuts. So um, what other things are unique locally that we need to know about? These are the things that, that 
I need to know. There are the things that the police department needs to know. That uh, any representatives, any people that claim to represent or stand to protect the residents of the city of York need to know these things so a mistake like this doesn't happen again. Will you be addressing this with the police department? Um, I will. Um, will there be another video? Uh, I'm leaving that up to the police officers. I have offered, um, we offered before this video was shot that we have our own video production and TV uh, department in the city. We offered to uh, use that, um, so the officers chose not to use it and go in a different direction. Um, so I'm leaving that up to them. Are I the would love to see a funny, cute video that we could all be proud of. Are the police in favor of releasing this, or is the chief kind of taking any direction from your office to not like it, per se? No, the chief takes direction from me. He works for me, but um, I think, and I haven't gotten to read the whole thing, but I think the FOP might have released a statement saying that, that they wanted to release it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, I really hope that maybe these conversations tonight might enlighten the police and others um, as to how much real damage this has. Um, it's, it's not simple. It's not political. When you align yourselves with a company that some people believe to be against them, that makes you against them. I can't have this in the city. So I'd rather have 10,000 people mad at me on Facebook than have people not trust our police. And that was my goal the whole time. Gotcha. Thank you so much.